Uh, um, so this is a Scottish Power smart meter. I just thought if you haven't got one of these already, I'll just run through some of the different options that it's got. Uh, probably not an. I'm no expert with these smart meters, but I'll just go through the different um, options. This smart meter I've had for about three or four months now, so um, shows you on the gas and electric. So you can choose between gas and electric. I find um, usage at the moment one per hour. Don't know if that's pence. Yeah, one pence per hour. I haven't really got anything on at the moment. Um, today I've used 26p. This week, £2.37. This includes your standing charges as well. Uh, £11 a month so far. Shows you last month, £15.33. Month before, £13.37. Month before that, £12.49. Um, doesn't show you the gas um, usage in real time, but you can see what you've used so far. 7p is probably the standing charge. So it's the summer at the moment, so I'm not really using any gas. So yesterday I used 14p, 13, 14, 11, 11, 10p, 14p, 13p, uh, 61p this week, last week 73. So you can go through your different weeks. So this is probably when it was cooler, or I've used more. I'll show gas and electric. So my gas bill, gas and electric bill for last month would have been twenty-one pound three p, twenty-three thirty-three, and this was when it was colder, ninety-seven. Ah, oh, and that was when it was first put in. So, oh no, that's on you. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can see uh, what it, things are in terms of kilowatt hours so far this week, this month, this year, today. My current tariff is 16.33 pence per kilowatt. And... Gas is 3.67p per kilowatt. And if it tells you the uh, I think this is the standing charge. Seven pound eighty five per day for electric and seven pound eighty seven 7.85 pence per day for gas, 7.85 pence per day for electric, and this week so far £2.37, last week £3.98, so one thing I do like about this, I think it's on electric and where you find it, I think it's I think it's sorry for pressing so many times there's one where it shows you in the one where it's real time ah here it is So here we go, this is what I was looking for. Sometimes you have to play around with these things to because you know you have to press this one, then this one, then so usage at the moment 30 watts. So I'll just show you how in real time this changes. I'll turn on this speakers. So you should find that 
by turning that on might need to plug something I'll turn the microwave on there you go, 33 watts Turn the kettle on and you can see that it's shot up to 2.83 kilowatts so you can see by turning on various things around the house how they affect your usage uh, I'll turn the kettle off now and the speaker so the speakers didn't have any music playing so that's probably why they weren't on didn't really affect it Turned off the kettle and the speakers. So you should see this drop down soon because there's both of those have been turned off. There we go, back down to 30 watts um, per hour. And so to work out your kilowatts, it's to uh, so say it's 14p per kilowatt. So when it was on 2.85 means for an hour of using that kettle would have cost you about 28p something like that so uh, obviously you don't want to leave it on for that long but yeah it's good to see in real time how things are affecting your electricity so just by leaving that speaker on standby it went up by 3 or 4 watts let's turn it back on again So let's just turn it on standby. There you go, 32. So that's why you want to turn things off. I've got, I know I've got the TV and the broadband on standby in the other room, so I'll quickly go and turn those off and see how that affects my electricity. So that was turning off the um, the TV, the router and my PlayStation 4 that are all sat on standby and that's half my usage again just by turning those off. So it's good to check in real time, it's good being able to see in real time how things are affecting your consumption and just simple turning off of one plug which was a, a multi socket to the TV the um, PlayStation and the, um, the router, things that you don't need on during the day while you're out of work. That's dropped me down to 14 watts per hour. So currently, those will probably be my freezer and my fridge. Um, I don't think I've got anything else on. Oh, my phone is currently plugged into the wall as well, being charged, and my watches on charge as well so that's a smart watch so those are probably the things doing that I'll take my phone and my take my phone off charge see if that makes much difference so at the moment it should just be my freezer and fridge There you go, so unplugging the phone from its charge, it's dropped me down to 7 watts, and uh, I'll say that'll just be my freezer and fridge on at the moment. So you can tell with these smart meters how to get your usage down, uh, just by simply turning off two plugs, I've reduced it, I've, I've knocked it down by a third, um, so it's a good way of keeping on top of your bills by keeping an eye on how much your usage is in real time and uh, you can be aware of just by turning off a couple of things get your bills down nice and low and uh, save a bit of money plug my phone back in on charge
So you might see it jump up again. There you go, so that's my phone and my watch back on charge. Thanks for your time. Um, here it is again. Smart meter from Scottish Power. Good way of keeping an eye on your costs and a uh, good tip to see in real time how much usage energy you're using and then simple bit of maths be able to work out how much that's actually costing you.